I could say it's on fire and probably get away with it, but it's not on fire. But it certainly looks as though it's on fire. Christ. Whatever that dirty dust is that's on that grass, which I have no idea what it is, it, it is making a dust storm like nobody's business. Uh, there's this, uh, the t it's the type of grass that it is. Uh, I have no idea what it is. It's a warm season grass that grows on this farm and it generally produces pretty well and every year and I don't know why not every year but a lot of years it will do this very same thing uh, I'm starting to put two and two together and uh, pretty much coming up to the conclusion that it is on the wet years this I call it a, an angel grass because it's really it's a fine grass and it's a warm season grass and on wet years it does stuff like that I'm gonna hit the damn bell. Anyway, oh, I'm gonna hit that bell anyway. You watch. Boom, did I hit it? I did hit it. Did I? Uh, damn it. I can't believe that, but that's what it looks like when it's being bailed. It just looks like the thing is on fire and it sticks to everything. Fortunately, I, I can't believe I blew that bail up. Uh, that's the thing with this baler is it will just these are tight turns in here too so but it's so long and when it hits stuff and you know you swing around and it hits them it just blows them right the hell up and that just pisses me off because I got to go out in this dirty dark nasty stuff and redo it but I mean the thing just looks horrible you know put my windshield wiper on knock some of that greasy stuff off and it's got a greasy film to it I don't know what it is, honestly. I don't know what species of grass it is, but it's not something you would ever feed to animals. And look at that thing. It just, it just blew that bale to bits. That blew it to bits. But if you look out there, Teresa, she's raking. And you can see, it looks like she's in super duper dry conditions, which it is kind of not, it's not dry. I mean, it's not dry. It's not, I'm not just in the mud yesterday. It's a little drier down here, but it looks like she's gone to the dirt track for that Pequay hay rake. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what she called me up, and she's like, what the hell is this stuff? I'm like, well, it's the type of grass it is. So next year, there's uh, three more fields down in this area. I'll be making the hay on that next year. I have to go look that up on, well, I'll have to go for a walk down there. Um, that was in CRP, and this is the last year for it, so it's the Conservation Reserve Program. And uh, they were having to mow it for years, and they don't mow it. This is the last year for it, so now I get to do it. It's a funny thing, you know, uh, Conservation Reserve Program, they they made you destroy it. It was only allowed to grow up and then you had to destroy it, which I felt to be rather ridiculous. Um, I've made, by accident, some CRP ground and then the property owners got pissed at me. They're like, oh yeah, we're supposed to mow that. Can you take that? I'm like, well, if you got to mow it, whatever, you know, I'll mow it and take it. I had no idea. This happened once. Uh, I had no idea it was in the CRP program. The guy gets caught because my bales are out there. Actually got turned in by another farmer, which is a douchebag, you know, because, you know, who really cares? The hay was gone from mulch hay, and he was getting paid, saved him some money, made me some money, and uh, Johnny Taxpayer had no idea what was happening there, but I guess the rules are the rules, and somebody, there's a snitch in every crowd, that's all I can say, but, yep, anyway. So that come out of the CRP program and is now available for me to make hay on. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. This this ground here, I, I honestly need to just tear it up and redo it because I don't like this dust. It's awful. I can already feel it in my throat. But anyway, look at that thing burning up behind me. Burning up. Looks like it's on fire, doesn't it? It's a good old tire fire going on back there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, so today, yesterday was a bad day for the crone. 
uh, not a good day at all for the crone and uh, it's going to be very expensive to repair uh, had a collision with a stump yes a stump property owner cleared out a uh, fence line along the edge of their property and made a nice opening for me to go through to get out onto their driveway so that I didn't take the asphalt off of it, off the edges, and they cut a stump and left it up maybe a foot, not even a foot, maybe eight inches, and there was some hay laid over top of it where dad had mowed, and of course, I'm not going to leave any hay in the field on the exit side of this thing, and I hit the stump smashed the front end to pieces and when I say to pieces I mean this thing is in pretty bad shape um I'm actually disgusted I pulled it up to the shop last night and shut it off, went home, ate some supper, and went to bed. She said, fuck it. Woke up at 3.30 this morning. Just was supposed to take a load of hay and just said, fuck it. <laughs> I can't. I got to get that baler going again. I got I got a lot of work that needs to get done, and my baler's broken, and I just need to get an assessment. If I, if I got to buy a new rotor for the uh, pickup tines, then that's what I'm going to have to do. But I'm going to try and get that straightened out. I don't know how bad it is. It could be... It could be completely destroyed, and I have to buy a new one, which is going to be pretty expensive. I do have an insurance policy on this thing, so uh, I'm going to document it very well, and, uh, you know, the stump, obviously, and all the bits and pieces, but I'll, you know, it's just, it's a claim, and they're not going to be able to come out and look at this thing right away, even if I do, but there's just a bunch of broken, bent pieces, so... I'm pretty sure I can straighten it out and get it going again by this afternoon, hopefully, because uh, a friend of mine, he's got 20 acres of hay that he needs me to bail, and it's second cut. I'm, I might just tell him, hey, listen, this thing is so fucked up, I can't bail your hay, and he can do it on his own, and then I just spend the next six or eight hours getting her welded up nice and nice and back together, you know how it is, but Teresa's coming, she's going to run the camera and hand me tools and chains and binders and uh, pulling devices and hammers and things, Timothy's coming, he's got a lot that needs to get done also, so he's going to be helping me get that thing going, and after the dew comes off the grass, I'm going to boot him out, he can go stack hay, we got a lot of hay to stack, so that's the long and the short of it, it was kind of a sleepless night to me because there's over like I know those parts are going to total over $20,000 in damage if I have to replace all of the pieces. So, yeah, a little sad, but whatever, such is life, I'll get on to it. So, I'm going to show it. Next scene will be the damage. Backbone is bent. The spine is bent. Uh, there's a lot of bent shit. 